Let's say you're building an app using React and you need to request some data from an API and this API requires an API key. This API key, you need to protect it. The first thing you learn is that you need to put this key inside a .env file and then put in a git ignore file. That way you don't upload this file to GitHub. But that's the first step that's not going to protect this API key. What you need to learn is, is about serverless functions. So for example, I'm working with this React application and I'm going to put this application in Netlify. Netlify have the option to build this cool functions that will run in the server and they will not touch the front end. So there's no way for someone that is going to find, even if you click the inspector, if you take a look at the code around, you're not going to find that API key. Something like this, for example, that is just a simple fetch. You have your API URL. You can add the API key here and this will run in the server and there is no way that people will find the API key. The cool thing about this is that Netlify have this option in their settings that you can add the same variable that you have in your .env file inside this field. And that's it. That's all you need for Netlify to know. Now, you will notice I'm using Netlify, but they're not the only ones doing this. So if you're already hosting your React app somewhere else, um, I'm sure they have the option to add this serverless functions. All right. And that's it.